Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the Cantor Publishers video lessons. Before starting the lesson, dear students, you must have with you class 6 English textbook, summer pack and resource pack. Resource pack is for parents and teachers guidance. You can also download it from Cantor Publishers official website. We are going to start our lesson from unit 5, the Rambo. SLOs of this lesson are identify syllable division and stress pattern. Page number 55 of your textbook, we have a vocabulary section here. Today we are going to discuss the syllables and stress in the words. Stress is the degree of emphasis is given a sound or syllable in speech. Emphasis like when we put emphasis on something. Kisi cheez pe jab hum zor dalte hai. Also called lexical stress or word stress. Lexical which is related to the meaning of the word. And word stress. The stress pattern can help to distinguish. Distinguish alag karta hai. The meaning of two words or phrases. The other that otherwise appears to be the same. Look at the examples here. So you will find the difference between them. Read the words carefully and note the stress and unstressed syllable in them. There is a word contract. So the bold letters here are the stressed one. C-O-N, con. And the whole word is a contract. So here C-O-N is related to the noun category. And here the track, the bold one here, the bold letters here, the syllable here, were verb. Contract. Con related to the noun and the track related to the verbs. Emphasizes on both syllables. This is one syllable here, C-O-N. Three letters but one syllable. Always remember that. Track. One syllable but four letters here. So we have divided that. In nouns, we have the emphasis on C O N the con here. And in verb, we have emphasis on tract here, which is in verb category. The second verb here, refuse. Here the I F is a noun, syllable is emphasized in this the if and the fuse is a verb here so the word is refuse when we say no to something or someone and the third word is insult you can see in is a syllable here stressed syllable stressed syllable just zor dala jata hai bold hai idhar aapke paas or noun category mein two letters but one syllable Insult here is in verb category here and which is referring to the stress syllable here. Let me give you some more example. Like this is a word present. So can you find out the verb and the noun here and the stress syllable in both categories? Yes, the pre is a noun, the stress syllable here. And the scent is a, yes, the verb here, the stressed syllable here. In a dictionary, the mark, like this is an apostrophe, shows that main stress in the word. You will find like this in the dictionary. So the syllables, how many syllables do the following words have? Also identify the stress pattern of the word using a dictionary. Aapne stress bhi dhunna hai dictionary mein ki kaun se? सेरेबल पे स्ट्रेस आया है इस तरह का मार्क बना होगा और आपने जो है सेलेबल भी अलग अलग करने हैं जिस तरह से हमने यहाँ पर सेलेबल्स अलग किए हैं सी ओ एन एक सेलेबल है और ट्रैक्ट एक सेलेबल है एक नाउन है दूसरा वर्ब है इस तरह रिफ्यूज में आर ई एफ एक अलग सेलेबल है और फ्यूज जो है वो अलग सेलेबल है यहाँ पर आपका एफ भी इसमें इंक्लूड हो रहा है और क्या है इन आपका अलग सेलेबल है और सल्त आपका अलग सेलेबल है तो इन वर्ड्स को आपने सेलेबल वाइज अलग करना है नाउन और वर्ब वाइज जिस तरह के ये हुए हैं और आपने स्ट्रेस भी ढूंढना है कि स्ट्रेस कौन से सेलेबल पे ज्यादा है नाउन वाले पे कि वर्ब वाले पे पीसफुल हारमनी ब्यूटीफुल रैम्बो और ब्रिज ये आपके वर्ड्स हैं दिस इज योर होमवर्क फ्रॉम समर पैक पेज नंबर थर्टी वन चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन एंड राइट फ्यू लाइन्स अबाउट इट 
This is also your homework from summer pack page number 32. We also have an activity here. Find the word from the given number of the syllables. You can get help for your teacher, parents or any online dictionary. So, two syllable, three syllable, four. It can't be more than four. You can find so many words with the syllable, with the number of two, three, four, one, two, one, four, three. Just write the words with the number of syllables like this. And this is your homework from summer pack, page number 36. You have to write a simple letter to your father asking about his health. This is an informal writing because you're writing to your father. It's your family here. So start like this, your address. If you are living in a hostel or somewhere else you know, outside the town or city or country, just write your present address here, date here, or start with dear father. comma here and start with I hope you're fine or oh, I haven't heard from you I wanted to talk to you or whatever you want to like and the closing will be give my greetings to my sister and mother and in the last goodbye or your son and your name here Write the content, ask him about his health, ask him about what's going on in his life, all the things you can write it. Just write a simple letter. I hope you have enjoyed my lesson. Thank you.